Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. I like to I like Thank to try you. to get people get them off off uh, off guard a off little their, bit off their gates. I like that voice though. It, like it gets me excited. I say gate like you're you know you get a, a nice gate like walking. Yeah, G A I T is how yep. you spell that exactly. I like to get people Thanks off their gate. That. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever see a girl with a wide gate and you're like, oh. She either rides horses or I have not seen rides horses. that. Or rides horses. <laughs> <laughs> either way. You're right. one of our favorite people on the planet. Thanks for coming oh, back down to Wilmington, no. North Carolina. Yes. Thank you. You're Thank a fan you. fave. Audience I'm, loves you. Dude, I'm surprised. Thank you, guys. You Wait, guys why would you rock. be surprised everybody loves you? I don't know. You, they must be dumb. really drunk or something. Well, like, just drink it, bro. Because you're hot and you're cool sh- and yeah. Okay. It's like everybody loves my wife, too. They're like, oh, she's Dude, well, she's fucking awesome. I wonder why. Yeah. I, dude, we want to see. I wish the two of you guys would do a show together, by the way. We will have to. We'll have to do that. Are you, you're still in the military, right? I am still in the military. When are you. Uh, I don't know. Don't, death? don't what? push. I see you pushing it. I, I'm going to sabotage see, her and get her kicked out. I feel like you guys I'm are going to sit here the entire time and try to convince me. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. There's very, there's parts in my life where I've been like, I just need to get the fuck out. Like, you know, yeah. when you have them, um, like you've been there before. Mm-hmm. Like, where you're like, I'm uh, done the with whole, this shit. The whole, anytime that you're How not deployed. How many times have we said that too? Like, uh, well, I mean, the entire time I wasn't deployed. <laughs> you were like, like if I was deployed, it was cool. But when I'm back in at Bragg, it's like, fuck this. Well, that's the thing. I'm I need near to get Bragg, the fuck so out of here. half the time I'm like, fuck this yeah. shit. It's, so uh, well, the the reason I ask is obviously in Drinking Bros, which if you're not if you're not signed up, it's a private Facebook page. There's only one rule: just don't be a cunt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's open to civilians. And that that's military, the American version of cunt, by the way. So if you're a sick cunt like Australian style, that means you're a good person. You're Correct. a cool guy. Yeah, you can be that. But yes. don't be an actual American men, women, cunt. anything else. Just don't be offended or, or need a safe space in life. But one of the most popular posts in there is mm-hmm. when people retire. And then everybody's like, oh, you motherfucker. I can see that. Congratulations. You know, and it's. And they're probably asking, like, hey, what are all the drugs I should do, like, tomorrow? Correct. And every girl dyes their hair, like, gets their nails crazy. They probably get a piercing in their face, like, everything. Uh, you skipped one. Which one? Fake titties. Yes. Although a lot of girls are getting those before okay, they get out yep. now. Okay. A lot of girls are getting those before, but what I'm noticing, too, is they're getting them right before they're getting out. And yeah. then, I mean, I'm going to do that. Yeah, you should. All day long. Every, well, everybody, I, every kids, woman should have fake tits. Every, every woman. Have yeah. kids. They get saggy. I put boobs in them. Yeah. They're good to go. Yeah, you're good yeah. to go. Yeah. That's totally what science done. exists for. I don't understand why people are so like, oh, I'm not doing that. Like, it's science, bitch. Yeah. Like, if you, but, could, if you could take a pill to make yourself like 28 years old for the rest of your goddamn life physically, you, and you don't do that, you're a fucking idiot. But so why does it matter anyway? Have. Big boobs are awesome. You're great. Yeah. Any, any any boobs are awesome. Let's just be real. But yeah. big boobs, if you want to like perk them up and make them yeah. like look juicy, juicy, like, fucking do it. Yeah, I, do have, I have some friends. Uh, like I have some friends who look like the bee stings. You know, fat ass and some bee stings. And Jared's like, kind of uh-huh. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. All, get it. all of Jared's girlfriends will notice, <laughs> except for the fucking, except for Alex, the porn star. Yeah. Uh, are all like between five seven and five. Nine. He's a very specific, very type. skinny, small tits. All yeah. of them, really? every single one oh, of them yeah. for years. I have not now. His that. first wife, um, his second wife. <laughs> yeah, the third. His third was the porn star, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the mistress. Yeah, um, you know, there, many of a them lot in there. Yeah, what's so, the what's oh, wait, the, this is public? What's info, the plural oh, okay, of mistress? Is it mistry? What is that? Uh, misters, misteries, Mister, mysterious, Mis- mysterious. Ray Mysterio Jr. Yes, it is. He We're big fans Ray. of wrestling here. He was dating Ray Mysterio oh, Jr. For I don't a long wait. Time. Like WWE, you're goddamn right. WWE. Oh. Well, I heard Ronda Rousey's. Uh, isn't she going into? She's probably that? making more she's money in there. She's yes. in it. than she ever made in UFC. Correct. I guarantee you, she is. She is. Well, and she can be dramatic, all dramatic as she wants. Oh, and wait, there's no issue with I'll, it. Speaking of that, I'll flip it for you. I what? came home and Jesse was watching. <clears throat> Ronda Rousey's reality show on E. Oh, she's got a yeah, fucking the, the, reality the show, show now? The Diva yeah, she's show. On yeah. the, well, they do the Diva show where they follow all the females in the WWE. Or at least why the is that ones. on E, though? That I'm surprised McMahon doesn't own that and have it on. His, I mean, he probably owns the show, but why doesn't he have it on one of the networks that he has invested in? I think he gets a producer credit on there. Um, the, uh, the not that he that, needs any more money. That dude's a fucking gajillionaire. Yeah, but the, re- the reason why is uh, <laughs> the WWE rights flip from like USA to, I think Fox has it now or somebody. But um, I don't remember. Yeah, some, they, they definitely. Yeah. Yeah, they can it. flip that. It was it was Turner 
media that owned it because or not owned it but they that's where they were because they were on tnt tbs and a couple of other states you so you can dirty. license the clips you and you're still they're still making money on the on oh they're the making into perpetuity dude they'll always yeah because like shit. a show like that wouldn't fit on fox's prime time hey wipe that like fucking look off i'm your just face. saying we're talking get about involved hot, in the fucking listen, conversation you're talking about networks well, we should be talking about hot chicks and ronda rousey we are like, well okay. so just I, I loved ronda rousey i i thought she was yeah. super hot all that other shit right she took advantage of a very weak class I watched the reality show and it was weird, man. Is it? She's just with her. I can, you know, I kind can of see a dirt bag on a farm, which is cool. Really? Yeah, which is cool. Like it, it's just very unexpected. I thought she was done up and whatever, and uh, she on the episode that I watched. She, you're with saying my wife, she looks plain. Is that what you're trying to say? She did not give a shit about like her house and life <laughs> and all. She, she's, she's like a farmer. Oh, okay. She had Where's horses, she from? chickens. I, that's what I, I, I looked thought, that up. I thought I thought she was from California. So this lifestyle that she's currently living was well, really girls shocking. All those are very glamorous. When you see them on the show, like the twins, yeah. like the Bella twins yeah, are always yeah, yeah, yeah. up. They look good. Yes. Like all the girls always have their hair and makeup yep. done. So I I actually was wondering how she would do on it, considering that she doesn't seem super outgoing and a little standoffish. Yes. So uh, I was just curious. She's how that from was like be. Riverside Inland Empire, so that's why trash is fuck. It <laughs> is, but not to have like that kind of farm and. All that other shit, no, I no. guess. Not a, I don't. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> Either way, mm-hmm. no makeup, no whatever. There was dirt on her boots, and like people were walking to the house. She's like, "Yeah, go ahead, cool." And it looked like like your uncle's house rather than like yeah. a big famous. Maybe that's Ronda why they're Rousey. bringing her in. I'm kind of into that flavor for it. Y- yeah, you know, and like the guy she married. Unexpected. The guy she married was you know he's not a celebrity or anything. Yeah. Like he's. Oh, I didn't uh, know she was married. Yeah, well, he's now, on the show. Is he like big? Is he like a buff dude? Because that would be kind of like. For me, being a fit girl, I have to have a guy who's bigger than me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to feel like I'm smashing the guy. Yeah, like, in instead of being smashed. You don't by go the guy. Amazon Correct. style? Yeah. yeah. I've, so, you know, no, it, Amazon style position, right? What it's, is, like, no. it's like the dude's legs are up in the air and the girl's fucking him. Yes. But not pegging. <clears throat> like, he's still inside of her, but it's that position. It's that position, yeah. But, and it's also called reverse missionary, apparently. You like watching that, don't you? I think it's hilarious. Do you? Yeah. Do you like watching like the big fat chicks, like the N- big no, big fat chicks with no. like a skinny rail guy, just like he's somebody sent me a, in her. One of my buddies sent me a video the other day of some like fucking really small guy with this. She wasn't fat, but she was huge. She was like six seven or some shit. And the was, whole was, the whole thing is her like picking him up and stuff. <laughs> I've seen. They're, they don't fuck. Similar. They don't fuck. They're naked, oh. and she's just picking him up and. Like, mm, and then she's like flexing her arm. Like, who is that for? Have you seen wow. the one that's I a bodybuilder meet... doing it with a small guy? And she's literally yes. like holding I wanna, him yeah. up and going I want to on, know like, who this him. is for. Who is this for? You know, there's there's a lot of guys out there who want to be dominated. Um, really? You know, hence the dominatrix shit. Okay, well, that's like, different, though. I yeah, feel but like... if, if, if you can be physically dominated by somebody, you know, some people are into that. I'm not. Yeah. I, I, I want to feel like there's a way out. <laughs> you know? it's a safe word. Yeah. Wait, so you don't like being handcuffed then? No, I, I don't like that. All that other shit. Like, there's a level where I'm like, eh, we're good here. Yeah. Like if shit goes wrong, if there's a fire, mm-hmm. and then I'm handcuffed to the the bed. So you think of all that? Like your mind's racing the entire time. Like 100%. you give yourself the what? How do I get scenarios? out of this room? Um, how do I get rid of the con- like the whole thing? Yeah. You know, obviously I'm married now, but um, before. Well, what about so? What if Jesse? <clears throat> let's say you have Jesse. Was mm-hmm. like, hey. I've been reading Fifty Shades. Yes. I want to do this shit. Yes. But can I, like, do it to you? Yep. And, and, and I would you say... You would be like... I would say yes. Oh, okay. And, and here's why. Typically, this is the husband. Yeah, that's he's the husband. He's huge. He's a big dude. Big oh, dude. he is a big dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hey, he's a, he's a yeah. UFC fighter. Okay, well, um, that's, that works then. Here is the, uh, the thing about that for me. Sexually, with, with all of this shit, right? If you're... Especially in a, in a relationship where you're married. If you're not willing to do all that shit with your partner... Yeah. Let's face it. If you're going to be with him for a long time, you got to open up your mind a little bit or... They're going to fucking stray and go outside somewhere else. Down I would the say street. you have to open up more than your mind. Well, you might have to open up that beehole. <laughs> the back door. You want to keep that back door closed. Yeah. But you have to give be open minded. Correct. You, you have to be willing to explore and do different <laughs> things. I, I don't think there should be like a fear of like, oh, if I don't do this, like they should. They have every right to stray or I feel like they should. But yes, I feel like you absolutely need to be way more open minded. And the thing is, too, you're going to get bored. Yeah. You're going to get, like, you Absolutely. have to realize that. You can only do just plain Jane sex for a bit, and yeah. you're like, hey, like, let's add this in or this in. And everyone yeah. has their different flavors. Yep. 40 add years a person of in. jamming your semi-hard yeah. penis into the same vagina is just not going to cut it, man. Yeah. 
It's um, not going to do it. But that's why there's like devices and toys. Devices, oh, Roman, toys. Roman ED. Other, other women. I don't know if I know what that is. Uh, boner pills. They're one of our sponsors. Oh, yeah. Oh. GetRoman.com forward slash drinking bros. Get your boner on. Um, do those get work all for girls, up. though? Yes, uh, they no. do. What? Yes, they do. Uh, yeah, there's, there's uh, female labia. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So what I heard is this. <laughs> what it does is increase blood flow to your boner? sex workers. Correct. Right? Okay. Yeah. I can see it. To like, the labia. Where blood. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, it's not part of their pitch, but it's real. It's not. It is real. You'll be able to see. It was girls uh, taking on the cruise. You'll be able to see the labia from across the room through snow pants, basically. Yep. And that's what I like. Uh, and and you can see it pulsating. See it looks like you'll see it all. Yeah. You can see it pulsating. It looks like an alien. Yeah, which is nice. It is nice. Because at least you know, you know where it's at. That's why they make those suction things, that too. It doesn't sound appealing. Oh, it does, Tiffany. Maybe. You have never. You. you don't have a dick to put inside of one it's of those true. things. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to see gotta, an You got to have a little roast beef to put pulsing. on the sandwich, you know? So, <clears throat> you what? You have a little roast beef to put on that sandwich. <laughs> Horse radish. You can't just eat buns. Um, well, actually, you can. It's ass eating season. Yeah. It is ass eating season. I didn't know. Wait. What's, when October is ass eating season? It started October 1st, yeah. When is it in? October? May 31st. May 31st, yeah. That's a long. It is, season. yeah. It's, so it's the colder period. months. Who of the came year. up with this season? Was it a uh, man? reasonable people? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. But look, there, there's there are you know provisional times you can do other stuff. Like obviously, if it's a birthday or something like that, it's got to wash up first. I right? got my ass eating from a birthday. Did you really? Hi, oh, hey, that's yo. amazing. Yeah. Did you ask for that, or did is that was that a voluntary thing? Um, he just knows. Oh. Yeah, I like he the knows nose, I like it. We, knows. we hadn't seen each other for a little bit, and we were talking about you know things that we we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah. We saw yeah. each other, and then when we did, and it was like high five. That did was he have, awesome. Did he have the yeah. mustache at the time? No, he shaved it. Ah, what a stupid I know. fucking move yeah. that yeah, was, dude. He's power growing move. it back out though. Like he, oh, I've got it a was picture. Just like willy nilly. I know I sent you one. It was willy nilly. It's an amazing porn stash. Like yeah. oh, it's awesome. good. Yeah, yeah, he has been stopped and briefed before by like higher ups, and they were like, "That's an awesome porn stash, bro." Like they love it. Yeah. So he just one day was like i'm just shaving this shit which is fine because we can make out a lot more freely sure you know and other things and so then he's in a course right now and he's just like you know what fuck it i'm growing it back and he's gonna probably have it when he comes back in november uh, so, keep the yeah. back door open what, 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 what is he at like sodic or sephardic or some shit what is he yeah doing? it's something like something that. that cool uh yeah, yeah don't uh, it doesn't matter if he shaves it now because i've already got the picture yeah, That's and uh, there's. Uh, I still want that. There's on, a piece um, of clothing inbound right now. On a onesie. Oh yeah. Yes. It's an adult onesie. <laughs> I will wear He's that gonna all hate day it, long. by the way. He's gonna hate it. But are you guys beef fries? I don't know him yet. Oh, you don't. He, but he well, we Facetime. Yeah, we Facetime. Okay, cool. When I gave times, him yeah. his fucking uh, dog face socks. Yes. Yeah, which is, I guess, I just opened up Pandora's box with that. Yeah. Like, yeah. You should them, never yeah. fuck with me. That's a huge mistake. Always, because I'm always gonna go. But the thing is, like, I probably will wear them, unlike you, who's afraid. To I wear, wear them all the time. You've seen me wearing them. Dan is nothing but time too. So that's he, true. He will, okay. he I have will. time and money and and a fucked up brain. Well, I Correct. feel like once you go on in this, then I just need to get you something. Back. I don't know what you're gonna do. You're gonna have to like knock me out and tattoo my own face on my back or something. Ah, I like that. We can like Steve-O happen. style. I think it would be awesome if we tattooed smaller legs on the back of your legs. <laughs> I like you know? that. Like, like this is an x-ray of my actual body. Or like if you find a picture of Dan's legs as an eight-year-old boy and mm-hmm. then tattoo his eight-year-old legs on I the back like of that. his legs where it's like, hey, just remember where you came from. Do you know the like girls? Like with, with a shitty Pinterest Or you could like tattoo that? the Forrest Gump devices on my legs. <laughs> that could be good. That could be good. That would be amazing. That would <laughs> one, actually be amazing. One thing that I want to do too, though, you know, the girls who get the little uh, bows on the back of their thighs. Yeah, the corset I style. Do yeah. bows with your dog's faces in the middle of them on the back of his thighs. I want to. So do... when he wears like you know Sophie shorts. Yeah. So he bends down, and you. I don't see, really like, wear the bows right? in the dog. Like, I want to. I want to see uh, short, bow short, speakers though. just tattooed in the back. Bow of speakers. Yeah, what about one on the small oh, of my yeah, back? Yeah. A little tube. Yep. What about a picture of Anne Frank on the small of my back? It would be great. But and she's diaries up front. Yeah, like as a tramp She's tramp? reading her own diary in the <laughs> attic. I would like that. Yeah. That's classic. And it says in memoriam over the top of it. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. R.I.P. We're big Francophiles here. <laughs> you know that, Tiff. I've got I a know. bunch of gifts for you, by the way, already. It, is it your Do birthday? You? It was. Well, I, happy birthday. I tell you what. Thank so you. We're, we're live on air. Look, we're in Wilmington. Uh, it's your birthday. LukeBelair.com forward slash Drinker Bros is our, our new sponsor for uh, the finest champagne and wine rosé on the planet. We're going to crack this now. Fuck and it. Here's, that here's that's one of a your, fancy ass bottle. Here's one of your gifts Dan that I got bought. You oh, because you're, wine tumblers. You're dumb yes. as shit and you're always breaking stuff and you can't break stainless Wait, steel. you're probably like my sister. She bought me the ones that are, yep. 
Did she bought me similar. She bought me uh, like the hard plastic ones that you can. What, yep. what were you doing with I your hand? I don't know. There? I just felt really uncomfortable like, doing that. It's like it's kind of like this. <laughs> and you twist at the top. Is this how you hold this? You know, you, well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it like that on the microphone. This is a YouTube show. People are going to see that. That's going to be oh demonetized. Oh my god. Um, I might offend a drinking bro. That was a that Good was luck. a Jill Scott pepper cracker. Is what you just that gave was. that. Um, Dan little... gives thoughtful gifts. By this the way, is really I sweet do. Sweet of you. For well, such a what, what he's perceived to be an asshole, he's actually a really kind no, no, guy. No, no, no. That's just uh, no. It's just That's my face. True. It's my it face and face. my dryness. Well, what people don't know <laughs> is you literally smile all the time, but the beard's just very distracting. Yeah, it's true. From it, yeah. like you're it, constantly cheesing, and, and uh, it's all facade. It's it not, I wouldn't call it a facade. No, I don't do you it on do purpose. Hate people. Well, it's you, just it's just I don't like care about being perceived one way or the other. It's just what that's it is. True. What you it don't is, give right? Yeah, he walks through life with. Uh, Ooh, Ooh, yeah, crack yeah. That oh, some of the bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Man, happy Wait, birthday! Do what are you? you what are you? Twenty seven? Yeah, no, thirty three. Oh man, you've got to live out this year, and then you'll beat Jesus. Wow, this what? is the, this is the year. Yeah, Jesus died when he was thirty three. Yeah, you know that, right? This is the Jesus. Read here. the goddamn how Bible, I, Tiffany. Dude, I grew up with the most religious parents. I don't know how I didn't know this. There you go. Really? Oh, yeah. There's no way. You don't know Jesus. That's a death tall person. glass of champers right there. Wow. You're welcome. Yeah, why? It's going to be an all night party. Yeah, pass it yeah. Down. We, we got a we game are. seven pass on pass tonight. Down. It's your birthday. Yeah, we're getting uh, fucked me, up. Me, you, Jesse, and Dan are dude. going out. We're going to drink some spicy margs. Yes. I got, we're going to drink we're some gonna spicy margs. We're going to pee our pants. I'm diped up for tonight. He is diped up tonight. But I'm wearing the thin ones. That's a really good idea. I want to do the diaper. Yeah. So that basically what I have on now, it's like those little uh, onesies. It's like a diaper anyway. It's, it's like a fucking bodysuit. These are right? the worst things to, to wear pee in. when you have to pee. I don't know why I always fucking do it. That and rompers, which guys yeah. don't have to worry about unless you wear a male romper. That would look cute on you. No, it would not. It way. doesn't you look cute think? on anybody. I don't, you, you've been I able to pull off a bathrobe. Yeah, yeah, dude, he pulls I'm, I'm a bathrobe guy. I'm a, I'm a fucking dude. I'm Lebowski. You know what? I think I saw Matt in a um, Hawaiian romper for that um, the video. The music video? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, but, you know what? I guarantee, because of him wearing that, do you know how many dudes are probably going to go out and buy a motherfucking romper now? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously? I mean, Black Rifle should make a fucking romper. That's another sponsor, by the way. BlackRifle.com. Yeah. Drinking um, Bros 20. Drinking Bros 20 for 20% off of BlackRifle.com. By the way, this Luke Blair good, shit right? is the goddamn best, dude. That's good. That's strong. I'm a lightweight now. So I haven't good. drank in a few months. I hope everybody buys this. Go to Luke Blair, L U C. B E L A I R E dot com forward slash drinking bros. It is the literally the best champagne and wine for twenty six dollars with a discount of drinking bros. That's go there because I want these guys to keep being sponsors. Impressive. This is the best shit on the planet. I have more gifts. This so, is crisp. This is really good. Very crisp. Here this we go. is a like dare it. to keep kids Dude, off drugs. I love, yeah. love fanny packs. Listen, I don't. You're free and franny. You got to get. You're a pack. big fan of fanny. I packs. love fanny packs. <laughs> you can Hold wear that up in the, the camera. Time. Show the. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, Lizzo. I don't know if any of the drinking bros here listen. Oh, yeah. Everybody on earth knows who Lizzo is. Lizzo if you don't, has fucking got learn. a song talking about how um, she's talking about she's dare keeping like you know keeping it off of me or her or something. I have to sing it later on when I'm drunk or something. Yeah, but I love it because you're 100 percent that bitch. Also, 100%. a big fan of uh, drugs though. Me. That's oh, true. Yeah. I saw a really good meme, by the way, and it was Lizzo, but it had the dog from the Delta raid on Abu Baker the other day, mm. and it's the same lyrics. I'm 100%, 100% that bitch. 100% that bitch, yeah. Because that was a female Dude, dog, by the way. Everyone was saying, good boy, good doggo, and all of a sudden one came out and was like, I think it was a little meme that said, hey, all the people who don't want women to be in special forces, and it said, like, mm -hmm. showed the dog. Like, you know, wow. a woman kicking in. And I was like, yeah, that's yeah. funny. But that's, dude, that I'll dog is fucking blowing up right now. Yeah, that, that dog that, is, that dog is a book deal for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That dog uh, just signed on um, for its own <laughs> biopic. Actually, I saw it. So, <laughs> so actually, that'd be a, a great no, one, actually. Uh, there's Air a, Bud. There's a dog named right? Cheese that was on the fucking uh, yes. Bin Laden raid. Yep. And Dita the hair missile, the guy that is her handler, is actually on SEAL Team, right? Mm -hmm. So, Dita's the dog that you see on SEAL Team all the time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, they're really good friends. The handler is getting a like a book made about the dog or a biopic or some shit. I don't yeah, know yeah. what it is. That's but it's smart. super cool. Yeah. Well, I, smart or not, people need to know about what these dogs do. It's crazy. Well, that's what I'm shit, saying, though. The I, dogs are know. extremely well protected. So my, my neighbor lives across the street. Mm. Um, he runs the canine unit he's here a sheriff, in right? town. Yeah. Uh, he runs the canine unit. Yeah. Sher it says sheriff's on it or he's the sheriff. Yeah. I don't know the rules, um, but uh, <laughs> I know this, that he's got the dog, and uh, every time they come and get the dog, there's like 10 cars around yeah. the thing to really? protect the dog. Yeah, yeah they I don't mean, fuck around. These dogs are 
crazy, right? Like the, the well, intense training and everything. Some of them, some of the higher, higher trained ones are worth about sixty, seventy thousand dollars <laughs> Yeah. I say with all the money that they put yeah. into it, right? With all yep. the training. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, look, some women have put, you know, more than that inside their bodies. So True. We need yeah. more of these but they're fucking definitely not dogs protected, out there. That's for sure. No, they're not. Uh, some of them are. True. Uh, yeah, true. Some of them are. So when are you getting out enjoying us, by the way? Uh, you see, this is where we're going to go. Drink it, bros. I want you to fucking. Okay, give me, give me five good reasons why. Uh, okay, you make a lot you'll of money. make like at least okay, three that's, times that's more actually money. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fun. You get to hang that's out. like that's a good one. You get, you get to, to hang out all day. Drink. You do what um, you that's want. Even a better make one. your own well, schedule. Well, who says I'm not drinking all day at work? Well, you get to make, what, what do you do, by the way, in the military? She's a seer specialist. I'm a seer specialist. Okay. So the cool thing is, you know, there's benefits to every job, right? So next week I head out and just I'm gonna jump the whole week for free. Mm. I mean, I mean by the government, but yeah, yeah, just jump out of planes, keep up my currencies, and train new guys on parachute operations but how long does that last like what does a career like that last because i would imagine you could get injured or last sure. time i uh, last time sure. i saw you you had some you had some a lot of bumps and bruises so something happened I, well i've had two acl surgeries Ooh, so obviously are you kidding me no my i got brutal. were they from jumps were yeah. they from jumps though one was from basketball in high school and then one was uh, accumulative of jumping mm. in jump school yeah mm. so that wears on but you but you're not doing a whole a lot of static line jumps anymore are you you know I'm the type to where if I'm going to, if my guys have to do it, I'm going to do it with them type of thing, like lead by example. So I know that there's a lot of guys who will go up for free fall, which is, you know, at 13,000 feet and they'll throw their guys out and then just go up and jump free fall. Mm -hmm. Cause they're like, Oh, I'm too good for <laughs> static line. I'll do the static line with the guys and then go on like next free fall one. So I'll still do them. The next one, the last jump that I had, we were in Vegas and shit like this happens. You're, Static line, you jump out at, you know, 13, maybe 1,200 feet. Right. We have um, winds. You know, they're not supposed to extend over a certain limit. And, what what uh, is it now? Because when I was in, it, it depended on the jump master and who was on the ground. So that's... It's like 15 knots. They're like, ah, it's cool. Don't worry about it. No. So it's not supposed <laughs> to be going over, you know, like tw 11, 12. Yeah. Right. Free fall is a little bit different. We have 18. So the big thing is there is it depends, especially with new guys. We went out and all of a sudden it went, you know, up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So could could <laughs> DB Cooper survive that jump? Yes or no? Who? DB Cooper. Uh, the guy out of the plane with $250,000. Dan and I talk about this guy a lot. Oh. He robbed I need to look. a fucking, so he he took, he took hijacked Excuse a fucking air, airline yeah. oh. or airplane in Seattle. Seattle, yeah, and then yeah. jumped out of the plane. Yeah. Uh, oh, they think sure. he jumped out. I mean, if we can handle it. They think he jumped Shit. out somewhere over Utah, but he had $250,000 in cash on him, which weighs probably, what, 80 pounds, give or take. That's yeah. about what I would jump with in a ruck, Good not including him. my weapon. That's impressive. He never got caught, so they either died and rotted in the desert somewhere or he got away, one of the two. I'm or surprised you don't know that, being a survival <laughs> specialist, because they couldn't find him. No. I mean, yeah. if it's not military, really. Yeah. We don't really know a lot but of those stories. You don't watch Bear That is a really good story. Yeah. I had, didn't know about that. Look up DBK. Everybody's used him in TV shows, movies, mm -hmm. forever. Prison yeah. break. Yeah. No, he would be able to stick the landing for sure. It would be fine. We had, we had an old reservist guy jump on it where I think what, they were sitting at six knots and 13 is our limit. So I think they busted up to 20. Once we jumped out, I think Yeesh. the bigger problem they got, would be. And we had a 50, 55 <coughs> year old be able to, he was fine with the landing. Yeah. I mean, I, I so. would, I'd think the bigger problem would be exiting the aircraft and a, and a bird that's not meant for that. Like if you don't have, yeah, a, no, if you absolutely. don't have a prop shield. Yeah. Like if you jump out a certain aircraft, there's a hump right there near the door and it kind of blocks the wind or shoots it out a little bit so you can get a good clearance out of there. If you try to jump out of a commercial aircraft, you probably get towed down no, the side of that bitch. Well, or first something. of all, you have to think of speed, airspeed. Yeah, if, we, it's, if you're over like 130 knots or so, We're jumping you're at 130 knots, yeah. sustained, right? That's They're supposed to go down to that to yeah. make sure that there's no <laughs> issues with the parachute. Um, some of them will go down to 110, yeah. nothing more than 130. So, yeah, <laughs> a lot of times if you don't have the wind blades or you're not jumping out like a ramp, which is yeah. awesome. Ramps are way easier, yeah, obviously. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it doesn't really matter easier. at that point. So I can only imagine what he's sustained. I mean, a lot of people think that a lot of people that are uh, like jump masters have talked about this mm -hmm. over time because it happened way back in the day. What altitude was he at? Th that's the thing. So they don't they don't think he got up to altitude. They think he jumped out like almost immediately. So they were maybe at 15,000 feet or something like that. OK, because I was in, I was wondering about. And oxygen. at that point, they would only be. Yeah, exactly. Like he would be hypoxic like immediately. Yeah. 
pretty and much. Because that's the reason why we have our limit <clears throat> at 13, mm-hmm. you know, 12, 5, is because once you go up to a certain threshold, they're like, hey, you have a limited time for, yeah. you know, to get on oxygen. Or you got to go on O2 for a certain amount of time before Correct. you jump out of that bitch. I mean, it's a pain in the ass. Then, you, of course, uh, I, I, some people think that he jumped out immediately because your uh, ground speed would be way lower, like maybe 200 knots, something like that, which is still fucked, but. You wouldn't. Dude, you that wouldn't has die. Big if you, balls, man. Yeah, if you tried to jump like, out at full, yeah. like in a jet, like a seven three seven jet, which is going four fifty to six hundred knots, you, you, there's no fucking way, dude. No. You would, you, you'd be concussed by the by the uh, prop blast, right? Is it Richard Ryan who's always packing a shoot even for commercial flights? Yeah. You know what? Why? I thought he's, about doing that exact same thing. I, I respect wanted, that's why, that. Yeah, because I, I wanted no, to ask you about it. There's yeah. so d- many times I thought about bringing a rig as like, my carry on. No yeah. shit. Uh, no, no joke. Because the thing is, when you get so used to jumping, mm-hmm. so many people are like, "Oh, you're jumping out of a perfectly good, good aircraft." And while you're sitting there going, "Yeah," I mean, there's not really such thing sometimes as a perfectly good aircraft. Like, there's always going to be issues, right? Sure. And like the few times that I've had rides on jets, like 16s and stuff, mm-hmm. we've had IFEs where I thought we were going to eject and we've had to land. And I, the whole time I was like, damn it, I, this is why I jump out of planes. This is not why I fly them. Yeah. You know? And so I thought about it. Like if shit goes down, I might be the only one on that plane. I'll, I'll actually try to carry someone like if they want to maybe hold a, on to my maybe a baby and then you raise it to be an NFL player. <laughs> yeah. Like the blind side. Blind side. If you, Tiffany's you, only grabbing black kids exactly. off the plane, and it's if like, you've hey, got, we were in no danger of going if, down. If you've got the uh, only parachute on the plane, you're just walking up and down the aisles looking for looking like... Looking for babies. Yeah, I'm looking for a baby uh, that's with a family where the guy's like, what, 6'3", maybe? 6'5". Six 6'5", five. Six five, yeah. something, something like that. Like, hey, nice blindside baby, How, how good is your kid at sports? They're like, what? We're, we're going to die. He's like, well, he's not if he's good at sports. He's not. And then, boom, exit door kicks open, <laughs> tips out the door with the baby. Sandy and Bullock. then that's my ticket for the rest of my life. Sandy that's, Bullocks. That's the new movie. Sandy. Hey, yeah, that's that a new would movie. be a, a good movie. Yeah. I'll stars myself. <clears throat> Shit. Is it all dudes like that you're teaching all the time? Uh, for the most part. I, it's all dudes I work with. It is. And Man, I would hate that. Mm-hmm. Did, did you, uh, my, I would hate that if my wife. Oh, you well, that's my how not, and I don't that's want how they met with so. a bunch of dudes. Is it really? He can't really talk that I, much shit. Well, I met him. We were actually good friends for a while, though. I met him <laughs> when we were at Free Fall School, mm-hmm. and I'm the only chick in a class full of SF SEALs, you know, The biggest PJs. badasses on the planet, and it's just, that would be so intimidating, I think. It, I, you just have to put on the bitch face, kind of, like, in a way, like, not like, don't fuck with me, but just like, you're like, okay, I got this. Yeah. I'm very capable. You know, I have more jumping experience than most of these guys do. So let's just do this and get the, get it over with and not fuck around. Is that part of it for you of, of like why staying in and everything? Because you like that power, too, where it's just like, man, I'm teaching some of the most badass dudes on the planet. It's shit. not power. I just I love the job. I as I'm getting older in the job, I'm certain to dislike certain aspects. Obviously, you have to do a lot more paperwork and all the fun shit starts to kind of go away as you start to become a leader. But the biggest thing that kind of keeps me in, too, is I've had really good leaders. Mm-hmm. And I've had, of course, a ton of shitty leadership. So part of me is kind of like, I want to be the change. Like, what? I want to take all the shit that happened to me and go, hey, how can I make this better for some of the guys after me? Right? So when it comes to being a jump master or teaching anything or training my guys, I know what I didn't like. And I try to do the opposite. So to give these guys, like, they're like, hey, thank you so much for not, like, I mean, of course, you're going to give each other shit, right? right? But they're like, hey, thanks for not making me feel like a bag of ass nonstop to the point to where I actually felt like I can talk to you and ask you questions about this and you (laughs) educated me. You still gave me grief about it, which is expected. But thank you for actually training me and educating me, not just expecting me to know it and then making me feel like shit when I don't. A lot of people in the military have it backwards. So they think that you you talk down to people below you and up to people above you. Mm -hmm. I ridicule people above me and talk up people who are below me yeah. like you have to empower people. if you if you walk into a room and start emasculating and fucking with people in front of their peers and shit how is that supposed to motivate anybody I yeah, never it never that. will yeah. people yeah. just walk in and start like i we've all had leaders in the military that is that are just pieces of shit like it's it's some kind of fucking power trip to them they're like oh fuck you you're a piece of shit like in front of people like no yeah, like, like, there's guys that you hate to this day yeah 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 Oh, like yeah. there will always will there be. will always be and There'll i'll call, be, I'll call yeah. them out i don't give a shit but there's also great people <clears throat> yeah that, and I, that's that I learned good so stuff from learn from the good <clears throat> ones right and you <clears throat> take the shit away from the bad ones you're like i will never do that like i remember i had a supervisor <clears throat> one time right um 
I was a motivated airman, about to be staff sergeant, and I was like, hey, can you put in this award package for me? I've been busting my ass. I wrote everything myself. I gave it to him, and he looked at it and goes, fuck no, I'm not putting this in. You're not going to win. He didn't even try. Like, and I, that, the major thing for me was like, I was like, that's a bummer. Like, you can't even try or tell me maybe what I need to do better mm -hmm. or how to make it better next time. So mm -hmm. once I became a supervisor and I had a, a kid who kind of had a rough career um, at the start and him and I talked and I said, hey man, you're out, you can totally, you know, clean up your path from here on out. You can do it different. And he was like, fuck yeah, let's do it. And I put him in for an award that he gave me and I said, hey, this is good. This is this, you know, could use some work. And I said, hey, I don't know if you might win, mm -hmm. um, but let's work on it for the future. Let's make this solid. And I put him in and the next you know, quarter he won. And then he kept winning and he was doing really good in his career. And it's shit like that where I'm like, OK, so that's like one of the things <laughs> where I sit there and go, maybe I can make a difference, but maybe I'm just being too hopeful. I don't know. Yeah, I, no. and I like jumping for free, too. So. <laughs> I love it because it's fascinating. Um, I, I didn't know if it was one of those. One of those jobs, because again, you've been on the show numerous times at this point, um, one of those jobs that you do it and that's part of your resume mm -hmm. or if that's something you were doing every single day. Mm -hmm. um, but it is. I, I like well, you it. jumped more than anybody I know in the 80 second airborne, I'll tell you that. Yeah, like, well, that's we, the funny thing. Most, yeah, how, many mo jumps? Most, how many jumps? Most people in the 80 second jump like once a I'm quarter at, just to stay current. That's true. I'm at over 600. <clears throat> Fuck. And those are all military. I've done one civilian, two civilian jumps on my own wow. and that's what's funny because i had a friend who was in 82nd mm -hmm. and she was like how did you get all these jumps and i go before i even left my home station i had 30 40 static lines and she's like that's more than i have and i'm a <laughs> jump master and i'm like yeah. i don't i don't know that wow. we, to be a jump training. master all you have to have is 12 static line jumps and then you have to do jump master school that's, that's what it. it is it's 12 i don't know yeah it's because every time crazy. i went to these schools even when i went to free fall jump yeah. master they were like, you have over two, three hundred jumps, mm -hmm. and and they go, you have more than all these guys here combined, because I think all you had to have was fifty five, <coughs> which I think they now just increased, which is fifty five to do what? To be a uh, free fall jump master. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think they're increasing that now because they're starting <coughs> to get guys coming through that don't know mm -hmm. much, and they're like, this is not Ugh, good. Because when you think about it, you have more responsibilities, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You're doing a lot more shit. You're now in charge of these guys, and if anything fucks up, it's Everyone points to you because you're the jump master and right. you get no extra pay <clears throat> for it. Yeah, you don't so. get any pay for being a jump master. You nope. just have to more show up on days where you're not supposed to show up, basically. <laughs> now, yeah, you do a lot more. Was this something you always wanted to do or was there another gig in the military where you were like, hey, man, I, I would have, I maybe fell into this because I was, I found out as I, as I went along? Mm -hmm. Or was there something else where you were like, man, I want to do that. I want to be fucking G.I. Jane or something like that. <laughs> like, what was it? Are you going to shave your head? You know, I actually did try to shave my head when I first came in. What do you mean you tried to? Well, it was a f it's considered faddish back in 2007. It was considered faddish. Yeah, you that's do that's it. one of the rules in the well in the army it's 600-2 but like that governs what you can wear and how you can look. Yeah. It says you can't have a faddish haircut F A D, right? But yeah. at the time I think too <laughs> in RFI it said you couldn't shave your head. It had to be like a certain length and I was we were in Texas and it was super hot there. So I just wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> Because we had inspections all the time. I didn't have to worry about it. But they're like, no, mm -hmm. you can't shave it. Thank God I didn't. Um, I like that you even entertained it. No, I don't know many oh. girls who would even fucking entertain it. <laughs> what year Listen, was that? When I was, that was seven, 2007. So that was, was the same year. Serious. I just want to point out that the same year that Britney Spears shaved her head. Ah. Did that have any effect on you? Maybe I was. It wasn't really the same She's year. She's like, yeah. it's Britney, bitch. I'm Britney, bitch. Uh, yeah. Shaving her fucking head. She's my idol. She's totally my motivation. No, She's I my still, It was mainly training purposes i was dedicated to training like when i was in training i was focused on it i was willing to shave my head i was celibate the entire time didn't what? let any guys what? 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 distract me how old are you at, when i was in i was 20 21. 21 celibate at 21 i purposely i mean i had sex before that but i purposely was like i'm not letting guys distract me yeah and the thing is too is that all the rumors circulating like is she fucking instructors, you know, to get yeah, yeah. through the training. Is she doing this? Is she it's doing that? Like I that, yeah. didn't want <coughs> anything to to come out with me. I didn't want to make it worse. So yeah. I was just like, nope, stay the fuck away from this. How long did that last? Uh, almost two years. That's a long time. Jesus. Well, then you then you go crazy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Jesus. She really I mean, slaughtered it. That's gangbangs with the Georgetown basketball team. This, yeah. Then orgies. This brings me to your next uh, gift. Birthday gift. It's, oh my god. Yeah. Do this you is, keep them all here. This is a stress ball, but it's <laughs> it's <laughs> testicles. It's is a beanbag. This bag. the one that you like yeah. go like this. Yeah. yeah. 
It is. It's a. Is it really stress balls? Yeah, stress balls. You know, again, subscribe like on YouTube if you haven't to Drinking Bros. I podcast. know you like it. You're a big fan of balls. Yes, I am. I've you know. I've known that about you for a long time. Smackasack.com. I like this. Smackasack.com. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. This is a good Dan gift, just, just got those for just you. Got that. And yeah. they're, uh, hold them up to the camera real quick. Jamie points to that side. There we go. Bango. Look at those. Yeah, they're nice. That's a nice set of fucking beanbag right nice there. Site. Oh, yeah. that is nice. Speaking of sponsors, though, we've got a couple. We do. I, whenever you come to town, it's always a fucking party, and we forget about sponsors. Ghostbed. Um, no, we love it. You're one of our favorites, dude. <laughs> uh, Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bro. I was real glad to have that uh, mattress protector last Whew. night. Yeah, you were. What happened? You were uh, watching the World Series and you fucking you shit your pants yourself? when Verlander blew another game. No, I was just uh, sweaty, real sweaty. Oh Did yeah, you have a wet dream. I got excited. Uh, no, I wish I would have that. Can oh. you imagine? Because I, I have say, to. That's I have good to, for probably wet dreams. Though. Yeah, I, I have to pound. Months ago. I have to pound off every morning as soon as I wake up. Really? Like I really? literally? Yes, I keep my it's laptop. Like mandatory for you to bed. Yes, I keep my laptop next to my bed and uh -huh. I just whip that thing out, turn on the nasty shit I can find, and go to work. Every morning. Really? Well, good thing you have the, the protector. Ghost bed, yeah. yeah you got the protector on it. It's a, it's a good thing I don't have black lights in my room. I'll say yeah, that. Yeah, that is a Any good thing. Any UV light in there is going to betray me it's immediately. It's a real good thing. Yeah. Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros has got the best dulls on the planet. Uh, right now, 36 month page you go, no interest program. No one is fucking doing that. It comes out to like 38 bucks a month. Um, and then if you're a regular human like myself, the Halloween deals are <laughs> scary, fucking frightening right now. Um, there's a wheel. If you go to their page that you can spin and you get $9.99 off of a fucking bundle package, you might as well be giving me the goddamn bed for free. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's what deal. you're doing at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. <laughs> and if you were, you were military or a first responder, you get 15% off forever, including the fucking pound, uh, the pound uh, coverage. Nice. We should call it the pound coverage. The pound coverage? Yeah. The cover. The cover. Oh, the masturbation. We should call protection. it the pound yeah. coverage. Yeah. Come yeah. cover. The cum. Yeah. Come cover. I don't know. Hey, look. That. You I haven't. Like that. Have no, you, that's you very catchy. You haven't slept on a ghost bed yet, right? I have not. When the next, when really your husband's back, saw... you guys are gonna come stay at my place because I have a ghost bed in my in my spare room, and I want you guys to just get weird in there. Yeah. Okay. And then you can do a review on air. We'll blur his face out, you know except what? for the mustache. The mustache will the be the mustache only part. Mustache will be visible, there. Yeah. yeah. I heard is. how important it is to get a really good mattress because you spend, you know, like half of your forever in it. Yeah. Day. And you don't just know it sleeping on it until you actually get one. Like, I, I was one of those people who just didn't give a fuck. Like college, all that other shit, futons, yeah, flipping fucks. What, you know, we but all we're getting older them. now, and our bodies like feel it. Well, everything is Here, right. You you, yeah. you you split the mattress into quadrants, and if once there's a stain <laughs> there, you flip it this yeah, way, yeah. and then once there's a stain <laughs> in two fucking yeah on two axes, then you have to flip it completely exactly, and then you wait for two stains on that, and you get rid of it and get a new one. That's basically. what happens. Yeah. Um, I just keep the stains on it. Uh, you're ah, disgusting. yeah, you do. I'm disgusting. We actually you had a thing. A fuck. We None. had a thing in twenty nine or twenty eighteen or twenty seventeen where whoever showed us a picture of the most disgusting mattress got a Jesus free. Jesus Christ! That, that contest got out of control. Then some dude took a shit on, on his own. Yep. Some dude um, took a shit on his own bed. Yep. And then they sent it in. <laughs> we couldn't verify that it was actually his shit, yeah. so we gave it to somebody else who, who <laughs> their fucking Was he their drunk? bed looked like a Jackson Pollock painting. No, he just wanted a, a new bed. bed. Yeah, look, we uh, you you know because some bros. people have been super drunk before and shit themselves. Yeah, yeah. well, you know. J Jared pissed on a girl's face a couple like a month ago. Actually, yes. drunk on the cruise. Yeah. Blackout, yeah. Oh, I can see that. On the cruise. And the she picture was, that you guys posted it. of him not there, but you guys all cheers and <laughs> cheers him, him on the fucking table. just like <laughs> epic and expect it. Typical of You know what Jerry, I mean? Yeah. Like, Typical. okay. Yeah. Not that I can Typical. talk shit. I was baked on edibles in my room Were watching you? watching movies. Yeah. Sounds like I yeah. was watching actually I was watching Yellowstone. That series is great. I heard How in the world amazing. were in, you in your room on a cruise? Like why weren't you out and about? Why well, weren't no, you fucking no. the girl who had your face all over her swimsuit? For, for so we had like we we would wake up in the morning and just go hard, go and really hard, yeah, yeah. And then we would have all these events throughout the day. So as and as the cruise goes on, everybody's going so hard, like it starts to dwindle. Where you're I just like, that. holy shit, because I mean, you're getting fucking house and yeah. uh, a great time. I fuck man, it was one of the greatest times we've ever. It was had. fun, yeah. I was we, gonna say you told me when you were going, and I was like, shit, I'm doing it next year. We did. Well, you know, we're gonna, gonna do. The thing? I don't even know if anybody knows that we did this for free. Like yeah, we didn't, we didn't get paid at all. Paid for it. We just want to do it. Yeah, do it. We're, we're gonna, blast, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna you do. To mingle with everyone. It's fucking right. Yeah, it was, uh, our fans are great. We're gonna do a summer camp this year, next year. That okay? You told me that. That's smart. Yeah. Somebody or someone somebody said sent it. in from Florida a summer camp that they just sent to. So remind me to get. We have to. three spots. 
that we're looking at. One of them's in Connecticut. It's where Kirill Slut Whisperer does his mm, shit. Yes, yes, and yes. it's fucking dope as fuck. He sent me all the pictures from it from last year. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't know if it's big enough to handle the amount of people that would show up for this. We're going to have to cap it. I, I don't know how big we can even go. I don't know, but it would be a fucking like maybe, blast. I mean, maybe there's tents people. and hammocks and there's all like no, there, no. There's like cabins I'm sure people aren't going to care once they're there. No, it's going to be a drunken free-for-all. Yeah. Oh, and we'll bring some. We'll go to the next sponsor. We'll, we'll bring some KillGiftCBD.com over yeah. there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, that shit. Do you CBD it up? Are you allowed to in the military? No, I don't, no, I don't think so. Really? No, there's CBD no is still. Uh, I don't think so. CBD is off limits for military. Why? Yeah. But remember, people, everybody's using it. Everybody's. Everybody is. That's what I mean. It's everywhere. Military. I don't know. I think it, I don't know if it's testable or not. No, it's not. So we I had. Have no you would we, have to specifically test for the cannabinoids and CBD, and literally, yeah. it would cost about sixty thousand dollars for the government to do that per test. I guarantee you, they're not going to do it. The other thing is this. So I heard this is good though. It's, the it's best. great. Really, really good. It's the fucking best. What happened was they came on the show and they fucking sold out in like forty eight hours. Did yep. they really? Yeah, and we were like, <laughs> hey man. Just because it's that good, like in well, Joe Rogan even posted something Joe about Rogan how posted it he too. loves great it. Shit. Tastes so do yeah. we. So Dan yeah. and I drink this shit every night, right? So it's uh, twenty five milligrams in a can. There's two new flavors. They emailed and me it's this like morning. Four, it's like four dollars. So if you buy a case of it, go to killcliffcbd.com forward slash drinking bros. Or no, I think it's just killcliffcbd.com, and then the promo code is drinking bros. Yes, that's what it is. Killcliffcbd.com.com. dot com dot com, and yeah. then the the promo code is drinking bros. And what happens is you get twenty percent off and free shipping. Damn, it's like fuck it. You feel like you're stealing it essentially like it's yeah. crazy so i last time they came back i ordered eight cases for myself and they were like i get a i get a phone call the other day and they were like hey man you don't have to pay for it. and i was like no i no i, I want i like it. them yeah I, I just want you know the first time the i saw kill cliff was at a crossfit gym yes yeah and they're all over because they're all over all crossfit over. gyms and a <laughs> yeah. mini fridge and i was like and i just got one after a workout one time i was like damn this shit is good I like i really like this a lot they were they were sponsoring range 15 and then they came back around once they had the cbd because yep. a bunch of us we got hit by a bunch of cbd products but like we kept trying them and it wasn't things were off there was all Did it have like a weird the, taste to it I'm either the flavor yeah. cbd in the, it. the problem with cbd is it's a cannabinoid right so it's an oil based mm -hmm. and you have to have a carrier for it usually it's coconut oil that's what almost everybody uses mm -hmm. right uh like the tinctures and stuff it's all coconut oil uh, it's it's like uh, the the stuff um, that you take with uh, like for a workout supplement. Typically, it's the same kind of stuff to get your fatty like the BCAs? acids. Uh, not BCAs, oh. but it's like the stuff you use to get your natural fats and stuff like that. Right. That's what they use for a carrier in it. And if you drink too much of it, it will make. And if if you've seen Brendan Schaub do it, he actually took like a, a, a God damn it, what is it called? I can't remember the name of it. But anyways, he drank a whole thing of it, and then you shit your pants for two weeks. Basically, oh god, like damn it's like it. a crazy because I'll I know. just wear a diaper, right? And do that. Dipe up and just uh, like diarrhea it Dip out, up. just lie in the bathtub. But, anyways, <clears throat> that's the hard part about it is finding a good carrier for it, yes, that doesn't make you sick over time. Kill and Cliff is cracked. This, this is the best goddamn flavor that I've ever tasted. No, and they got two drinks. more coming it's out. So good. Are we allowed to talk about that or no? Uh, yeah, they got two more coming out. One's uh, purple, purple drank. That's smart. I know. That was my nickname. And the other one is, was it really? The My other husband ones. called me it for a while. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> why? Because apparently the way I dress attracted certain people, so you always call me purple drink. <laughs> oh, ooh, Koreans? <laughs> no. no, weird. Okay, man. I, I you know what? We, else. you know what we never did? We never fucking made a power donkey T-shirt. No, we didn't. You don't want to do that. You know what? I will say this though. What do you mean we don't want to do that? After that I'm first your face. podcast, you guys have some dedicated drinking bros, and I love it. They're like the best. How dedicated they are. We have the best listeners on the planet. I think one guy for at least a few months literally wrote Power Donkey on every <laughs> single picture and every single post that I ever did. And there's some times that randomly someone will be like, that's so Power Donkey of you. Mm. Like on a picture uh, of mine, I'm like, fuck yeah, it is. It's great. Your you know? problem is, is that you're too nice and you answer every single thing. I I'm, I'm well, the same way. Well, here's my thing, though. It's social media. It's called social media for a reason, yeah. right? Yeah. So that people can interact. Yeah. The thing that I hate sometimes is if I, you know, comment go on my way to comment on someone's picture or like try to interact with mm -hmm. their with their posts i just get a like and it's like yeah come on uh, you could at least say something like yeah make I, I a conversation so i always I try, try to, to interact yeah. same and to me like i'm like that's really sweet of you guys going out of your way to make mm -hmm. time out of your day to comment even if it's a, a compliment which i don't take those well so no, I you're, you're bad fun of myself your, your go-to when you get a compliment is to immediately compliment the other person and distract i do com them i compliment you. the other person or i 
don't take the compliment and then I make fun of myself. Yeah. I just, that's how I've always worst, been. Which is stupid because you're a fucking amazing human being. So, so stop <laughs> being a fucking asshole about it. Yeah. <laughs> Be it's gracious for one compliment. It's fun sometimes. It's fun sometimes, okay? No. Oh, God. But I don't, damn it. I like it interacting with everyone and the thing is too am i able to get to all the dms and i don't answer dude dms so yeah how I, many dick pics do you get none really i, I, I think no. that's going away now no i, I don't hear get more any. and more from women that they're not getting dick pics anymore uh, well i also hear more and, and more from really women get, that they hate it that, like, they're yeah. just like dude i don't want an Guess unsolicited what? dick pics you know when you send a dick pic is when we fucking ask for a dick pic besides that mm. don't send us one. so they're working on an app right now yeah. that blurs it out so that it automatically goes in so women can't get one well, they have it on Instagram already. Well, oh, they do. Instagram, if you get if you get an, uh, a DM with a picture from someone that's not on your friends list, it, it blurs, blurs it out immediately. No shit. Yeah. And you can see typically an outline if that's what it is. Like, don't get me wrong. Like back in the day, I got like a few here and there. Yeah. And there was one time where I was like, I don't know. Yep, that's a dick pic. Like, let me let me ask you, you this: know? Do you read the Indian dudes' uh, posts? I don't get because they many really of they those. pump you up. They're like, I'll write you a fucking sonnet every day forever, I and I'll I'll wash you I'll wash you in coconut water. I don't give a shit. Why is that Indian? I why I don't know because well, they're super just like a they're romantic guys stereotype. I get I'll get a lot of foreign people who foreign. are very motivational and very nice and way well, you beauty you do beauty <clears throat> yeah not, yeah but not yeah. even just that just like showering of compliments and mm. part of me wants to be like thank you. But I just don't. Heather got to one. The DMs. Heather got one from an Indian dude uh, right before. I bet she gets a ton because she's fucking sexy. As yeah, shit. right before Shacho in 2017, <laughs> she had a DM from this guy, and it's uh, he was saying that he wanted to drink two liters of milk out of her tits, out of them. Yeah. So they have to be injected into them first. He right? does realize that that this only happens if she's pregnant. Well, there's yeah, no, there's even milk, then, it's there's not a lot of milk. There's not there. two gallons coming out. Have you drank two liters? That's half a gallon. Yeah, you, titty you, milk you, before? Yeah, you go. You give it a go. You like it? Whenever your wife is pregnant, you give it a go. I told my husband like. I heard it's hot and gonna, salty. That that would not be a pleasant. Sour. Um, sour. I see. I thought it was sweet yeah, for some reason. No, I, it, look, it's it's not the it's not the flavor you're hoping for. Oh, okay. Um, what are you hoping for? Like Kill Cliff CBD uh, orange kush? I'll tell you <laughs> what it is. Come down that's what I, I would want. I use creamer in my coffee, right? Yeah, yeah. same. Um, usually, uh, it's not Postmates. What do you call that? Jamie, what do you call that? Uh, yes, Postmates. Nope. Nope. Postmates is an app. God damn it. <laughs> we can't think of shit today. Whatever it is, man. Uh, uh, by the way. Coffee yeah. Mate. Coffee, coffee Mate. mate. I, couldn't, I was like, damn. Do you, do you coffee know, Mate, do usually sugar-free, right? Do you, yeah. Well, that, wait. Do you know that, why that tastes it tastes good? What? Coffee mate, do you know why it tastes good? Why it's, it's chip milk? No, it's, it's bullshit, right? It's trans fat. It's a hundred percent trans fat. Yeah. Give me all the trans fat. Exactly. No. So You'll sugar die. free coffee ma- mates is is that that delightens the coffee, right? Yeah. I'm d- I'm delighted by that. The tit milk is the version of you know that bullet shit they put in there. Oh yeah. That bullet milk, you know, where you're like, yeah. oh, that's a little. Oh, that's pun- pungent. Might I'm, bulletproof I might, coffee. Yeah. I might get diarrhea from that. Like, what's that? <laughs> You put that extra little <laughs> shit in there to make your, your coffee bulletproof. Uh-huh. That's what that is. That's mm. the difference between tit milk and like real milk where you're like, ah, that's a little, that's a little much for me. It's a little, there's something in there that's a kick where you're like, oh. Really? Like I feel like there's a, a string inside of the hot well, dog. Let me ask you this. MCT oil. That's what I was that's trying it. to think of there before. It is. Yes. MCT oil is coconut oil that's Correct. a carrier for we go. certain kinds of fats. And that's what they use for some of this stuff. Now they've figured it out. Yeah. The right Do you way. think that if you didn't know uh-huh. it was tit milk, yes. that it, you would taste it better? Because sometimes I wonder if it's the mental, like no, I, I have an open mind towards all of it. Okay. Yeah, I, f- I feel like I have an open mind towards that type of shit in my life, where it's just like, all right, cool, man, let's let's try some tit milk, and then yeah. I'm like, let's see if it's real. Because there's other like there's, I was not a big sushi guy when I moved to Los Angeles initially. Like raw fish coming from the south, like yeah. in Georgia, yeah. where we grew up. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's not, the problem. Not People grow no. up in areas where you can't get good sushi, and they think they don't like it. Like, no, you like. No, it's just yes. bad sushi. You, if you like, you will you will like good sushi. I don't know anybody that doesn't, to be honest. So like uh, foie f- 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 gras, <coughs> which is everybody's thing, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's what duck liver or whatever it's duck it is. liver that from a duck that's been severely abused. Correct. Yes. Oh, and it's it's out, it was, it's outlawed in certain restaurants and all that other bullshit, yeah. right? The first time my buddy, a friend of mine, was like, you got to try this. It's the greatest thing you'll ever have. And I was like, I, I remember you pushing that spoon in, right? It's real jiggly. And you're like, oh, what, what is this I'm going to put in my mouth? Yeah. That's the. Yeah, but if you, if you go down on your wife or girl, you should be able to eat sushi to me. Right? And, and, and that's the thing. That should be a test that girls do. But right? I know. I- take, your, take your date out. <clears throat> 
to sushi the first time. If mm-hmm. he doesn't like sushi, you're like, can't. Can't You're saying it. that there's a correlation between eating sushi and eating puzzles. I'm just saying that, you know, the I don't know if the texture is the same. Like it's smell, not, but, but here, maybe the nigiri is the same, right? Or like yeah, Indian but here's raw. the difference. I grew up eating pussy. I did not grow up eating sushi. I grew so, up eating both. So you should be able to. So sushi should be fine for you then. One would think. <laughs> Yeah, and then you get there, and Eventually. you're like, ah, is this, I, am I, I going to get sick off? So of if this? you're yeah. one of our drinking broettes out there, uh, order a nigiri sushi for the table when you first get there. What was that and first word? Nigiri. Nigiri. Yep. And, and see how sure. he eats it. Like if he just like, if he's like poking around it, or if he holds it like this, and then like <laughs> plays with it like, a little bit beforehand. Just yeah. like he's getting it the way he wants it, right? Yep. The same way when a girl licks the sides of your dick, she's getting your dick the way she wants it, right? Before ah, she puts do it in you her like mouth. That? I don't. I think it's pointless. What if like licking? What about spitting? No. Spitting is great. Same. I was going to say. Because it's the act of it where you're like, oh shit, you're fucking disgusting. This is going to be yeah. awesome tonight. Yeah. But the licking yeah. and the, te- the, yeah. the licking and the teasing of the head, I don't care about any of that shit. That's, that's. Yeah, but you know what the problem is? Like in porns. <clears throat> yeah. And like when you read stuff. Like I was just thinking girls, that this morning. You see actually. girls do it all the time. They, they, and anything that you read, it says constantly switch it up. Don't do the same thing. You no. know, like do it around the head, do the balls, do the shaft, and like. Nope. That's what they're telling that's you. That's the same so mistake that dudes make. So when girls read this stuff, they, that's what they think. <laughs> and unless they ask their dude and the dude's actually honest with them, yeah. they don't know. This that's the same mistake. you need to do a fucking show. I know. God damn it. This is the me. same mistake dudes make, by the way, when a girl's like, oh, I'm about to come, and they switch it up somehow. Dude, yeah. Just do the same shit that you were just insane. doing. Yeah. Do the same shit that you were just Correct. doing. That's what's making it work, dum-dum. Yeah. Ask, and you know what? Ask questions, too. <laughs> like yeah. That's what I do to my husband all the time. If I'm doing anything to him, I'm like, hey, do you like that? And he's like, yeah, I keep doing it. Or mm-hmm. he'll tell me. Or I'll try something else. Like that's what it's supposed to be like. Yeah. And the same thing. Yeah. Don't fucking stop. Don't if change. She's like, yeah. If you see her legs starting to go, and she's like, "Oh my god, it feels good," and then he's like, "Oh, let's go ahead and try something new." Yeah. Like, no, mm. let's not. Let's no. not do that. So just yeah. get just get her off. How long you guys been married? Three. It'll be three, three here in like a few weeks. Mine was six. Oh, when's your uh, anniversary? Two weeks ago. Uh, the the twenty six. Twenty six. Oh, oh shit! November? Is he, is he yeah. gonna be here? No. No, he's, he's deployed. No, so we have <coughs> totally opposite TDY schedules right now, which sucks. So he's TDY right now, which is temporary duty. Mm. And then by the time he comes back, I'll be gone on my TDY, and then I'll come back and we have like see each other for two days, and then I leave. And then by the time I come back, he's gone again. And when he comes back, I'm gone. Shit. Yeah. So we'll spend Christmas together. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a fucking. Well, we're, we're having Merry Christmas. We're at having house. a thanks- it's gonna be a fucking. We're having Thanksgiving Christmas. at his house. Yes, Dan's coming. Over. I, I'm, I'm getting Dan to come over. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, he's gonna try to convince me. I think to fly out to where he is. You should. Or, Where's he? Oh. He's gonna be in California. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right. Dope. Yeah. So, yeah you should as long as it's still there. It is on fire right now. See, so he's gonna be near San. Di- well, he's gonna be in Yuma. Okay. And oh, then going, going to over to San Diego. He's going to do jumps. Yep. Free fall jam. Nice. I know. That'll be fun. Yeah, it's Dan, kind of funny Dan that I get him coming before. over for, for Thanksgiving in our house this year. That's I'm, I'm, nice. I might. We'll full see. kids, full everything. Oh, you're what gonna I'll love do, that with the kids. <clears throat> what I'll I do is like. we'll we'll leave it to dinner. That way, you don't have to deal with the rest of the day of like Grandpa Dan, Grandpa Dan. Are <laughs> you gonna bring hold me. Dan a date? You know, I'd love to. Do you I know like anybody you for Dan? Up. Do you know anybody for Dan? I, I my wife and I talked about this on Ross Patterson from Revolution. We were like, hey man. We need a date for Dan. We I've need been a girlfriend getting, I, for Dan. I've actually been getting a bunch of DMs like, oh, is your personal life in trouble? What's going on? Why? It's not in trouble. It's First not in trouble. All, I, I, want, think, I want Dan to be, I think Dan would be happy and I think he could get married. That's oh, the absolutely. difference. I think so too. I think all the drinking bros should submit oh, man. their best fit for Dan. Like send in a picture of like a girlfriend, like a friend or the anyone. Th- the thing with it is she's got to be mature. Um, she has to be mature. Because it, you don't want some young girl drinking, running into a wall, splitting her face she open. She has to be intelligent. Yes. Because that's very important for you. Look at these glasses. Felix Greg, by the way. Yeah. Sponsors. She Greig has to be a good sport and be able to take sarcasm <laughs> very well. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I She's got to be a freak. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm also with things. D- be able to do drugs. Yes, drugs, and yeah. then Dan yeah. is or also okay open to them banging other dudes in front of him. Not necessarily in front of me, really. But I don't care. Like, like I it, never would have suspected that. If I if yeah. I'm if I was gone for months at a time, like what are you, what are you supposed so to sit there? So let me ask there? you this: Married too? Yeah. Who cares? What difference does that make? 
It's a fucking piece of paper that gets you better insurance rates. Well, so I'm just curious. Everyone's <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Everyone holds it differently. Some people I, yeah. are totally okay with it. Other people are like, no. Nope, I'm definitely I don't not want okay that. with that. I want to go on record. I was, just, I was gonna say, <laughs> would you like other no. dudes banging nope, Jesse? Not nope. Do you ever want to see it? Nope. Not exactly. Once. I would or, love. Do you think she would ever be cool with other girls banging you banging no, other girls? No, she yeah. would not. See, my husband and I are the same. Way. Yeah, <laughs> most people are. But, I imagine. Yeah. I mean, whatever floats your boat. I will say this: if my husband was like, "Hey, I totally wouldn't mind seeing you railed out by another dude in front of me," mm-hmm. like I would love it. In fact, and like bagged and bagged and bagged and bagged, and I knew like it would be okay. Yeah. I would consider it, and I would probably do it. But I don't know if I would ever personally. Like feel the same way about him fucking another in chick. front of you. I don't. I mean, in front of him. In front of him, that'd be weird. A little bit for me. Yeah. I feel like I, I really ha- like it would have to be something I don't, he's I don't, bagged me for. I don't want like, to be in the. Love I don't want to be do. in the room. Just send me some pictures and videos and shit and tell but me about I, it later. Yeah, I okay. couldn't do the opposite. Like it's like, it's a, it's more about them having fun and me knowing that they had fun. That's okay. what I care about. I don't really give it. It's not. Like I think it's hot, yeah, but I'm, I don't want to fucking sit there with a pair of binoculars and watch that shit because that would be kind of creepy. But what if they came home with with like gifts, like new shoes on? And you're then like, that's oh. one less thing I've got to buy them. What are you talking about, <laughs> dude? You have such a good attitude about it. Like, so yeah, you do. Yeah. So what? does Jared, by the way. Jared's I, I, in well, this Jared, camp now. Yeah, Jared's too. completely different. Like, yeah, the, he wants open, totally open. Now he does, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I just don't. I thought he always did. At least that's what he told me. Well, I, I think does he, he go back did, and forth? But there was there was something called marriage that got in the way of of those where it's like, hey man, this this you can't really do. The that. only problem becomes when you have kids. Yes. Like, I and agree. how do you work that out? Like, yeah. how do you keep it from them? Because honestly, I wouldn't. I'm not embarrassed by that at all. Obviously, I talk about it to a g- gajillion people all the time. But uh, trying to explain to a seven year old. Like where's where's mom tonight? Oh, she's out sucking some dude's dick no. in a parking yeah. lot. Can't really say that. No. So you that can't. becomes uh, pr- and talking to your kids about stuff I think is important. And you know what? At a young age. As yeah. they get older too, they're gonna they're gonna be very oh, in tune know. with things and yeah, they'll, they'll figure know, it out. For sure. Mom came back. Her hair was all fucked up. She had like cum on the side they'll of her it. dress. Here, it's like oh, that's because they they're pounding off big time at that point. So talking to your yeah. kids is important. That's where your last gift comes in. This book is called How to Talk to Your Cat About Gun Safety. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real thing. Hold Wait, it up to yeah. camera. Your cat. Hold it up to camera, Dan. So it's it's how to talk to your cat about gun Wait, safety. Wait, this is my gift? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the third of your gifts. Happy birthday. And abstinence. I'm allergic to cats, too. This is the best part. Yeah, it's, it's, this, this crosses species lines. Is it? Uh, so how to talk to your cat about gun safety and abstinence, drugs, Satanism, and other dangers that threaten their nine lives. Yes. So I feel like this is a really good... Um, <laughs> I don't know, learning curve for kids later on, right? Like gun yeah. safety and abstinence and stuff. Like, like how it's to, training me for absolutely. the future. How, yeah. how, it's made by the American Association of Patriots, which sounds like a militia. So you <laughs> to know be it's honest. it sounds American. Yeah. yeah. Patriotic. Um, as how shit. to talk to your cat about evolution, which is not real, by the way. Neither are birds or Iowa. None of those things are real. Correct. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in here. So you this take that. This is amazing. Yep. Oh, and it has a cute pussy on the front of it, too. Oh, look at that. You by the way, I think, I think I've solved the uh bathroom issue with the gender stuff how what do you so? mean how you just put a dick on one door and a mm-hmm. pussy in the other door and whichever one you got that's the one you go into it doesn't matter what your gender is yeah but there's girls getting dicks put on them and then guys they go into the one with off. dicks in it yeah i'm just saying yeah that's it you but go in you go into the fucking door with the with the parts that you have and that's it pretty simple parts well, you have yeah you know parts I don't you know, have that cuz the thing that freaks dudes out about uh Anal? Like trans <laughs> trans women that are pre-op being in women's bathrooms is because they have dicks. So they're going to whip their dick out and some kid's going to see it, yeah. which is a completely irrational fear because people just don't walk around showing their dicks to people. They do in California. I've seen a few dicks. Do you think trans. that they should have a transgender bathroom? No, no it's too much. Like how d- there'll be 80 fucking bathrooms there'll be no office space left. Yeah. It, look, it, you think <laughs> well, about I'm stadiums, curious, they, have a, they do a parks, family one. But it would be so they, much money from the government for sure. this stupid fucking thing where it's just yeah. like, hey, man. Just keep it the same for right Just now. Just go like, into the fucking so door that has your fucking parts on it. That's it. We don't care about you got fake tits <clears throat> and a dick, then go into the one with a dick on it. The tits don't matter. Yeah, agreed. And if somebody's in that bathroom, you assume they have Why don't they, they just put dick. stalls in every, like, in all the bathrooms, including the guys, so no one sees, so no one fucking knows anyway? Well, there, it's funny. I love when this stuff happens to liberal people because it's, it's just, it, it's so goddamn funny to me. So they're having a debate between urinals, which save a lot of water, mm-hmm. and offending trans people who don't want urinals to be in men's bathrooms because that's offensive to them. 
Like there's debates going on in Oregon, what? in Portland, actually, in the city of Portland, the new government buildings will not have urinals in the men's bathrooms for that fucking reason. To me, that's just so funny. Really? Like they're actually harming the environment just to protect the feelings of some people that have gender dysphoria, which is a mental disorder. Yeah. I love it. I, it's, it's so fucking, I love that shit. When they're forced <laughs> to like choose between two things like that. Yeah. You know what? I've always wanted to pee in a urinal, like wedding never, crasher you've never style. Done you got to get like, a girl go. Just, you know how I'm she's like. I'm surprised you've never done it. I, Are you not familiar with listen, the girl Listen, I've go? gone to, I've <coughs> drunkenly gone into male bathrooms before and tried. <clears throat> have, and do you remember that one night when we when, all went out and when Jared, Jared got went removed? To the girls I've bathroom, been yeah. kindly removed yeah. from them before, but <coughs> no, I never really had the chance to. Give it a go tonight. Do you know what a girl, do you know, well, do you know what? There's a gas station, I think in California that the urinal is literally, it looks like a fountain. And it's like a, a nice brick wall and a, like all the dude just pee in it. And it has like a little glass. Yeah. Like, so some have dudes. Have that covering? And some I just want to, like, I feel like I just want to stand in that and go. Some while dude, dudes like pee around Some, me. some dude's going <laughs> to walk yeah. in there and she's going to be like up there like Spider-Man. But the thing is I have to have a dress on or like a skirt. Because you if can't not, do it in this. It in the fucking body suit. You can't suit. do it in a body suit. My friend sent me a picture the other day. She dresses Wendy Peppercorn for Halloween, right? That's a great costume. Body mm-hmm. suit though. And then she sent me a picture from the bathroom. She's like, I can't pee in this thing. I'm no, like, well, it's good luck. You got to no. take the whole goddamn costume off to pee. Yeah. Dude, tomorrow's Halloween. Should have diped it up. It is. We're going to do a Halloween episode tomorrow. You're going to join us for the news. Mm-hmm. Uh, first up, we've got the drinking bro of the week, though, because mm-hmm. you're coming back tomorrow. Yeah. And we're going out tonight. We're raging hard. Uh, if you're watching the video show, the reason I was looking at my phone is this was actually submitted a while ago, Dan, when we were at the party in Orlando, which got out of control, the live show in Orlando. Oh, boy. And somebody was like, hey, man, I really wanted to tell them a drinking bro of the week. So it was texted to me by one of our producers, Alec, and it was just like, hey, this, this guy really wanted to do it, but shit got so out of hand at that live show. And I yep. was like, I get it. And we had a murderer there, um, which was great. Well, That's the one you told me attempted about. Attempted murder. Attempted, attempted murder. the one yeah. you told me about? <clears throat> yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. And his uh, party, uh, yeah. girlfriend took her top off and jumped in the hot tub? Yeah. Nico is his name. That's it. He's Dude, a good guy. He's actually one of uh, he's I like one of Nico. he's one of Amiri King's buddies. Yes. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Amiri King has a crush on me. Well, Tiff, I'm sure that, that me. line is. I have a crush long. on Amiri King. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's cute. Uh, I says, "Hey, y'all, love the show. Would love to nominate my dad." <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, <clears throat> that was nice. I'm getting That's a little choked up. Yeah. Chuck Pimpkin for Wait, drinking what, what? bro of the week. Pimpkin. Pipkin. Pimpkin. Got it. P i p k i n for drinking bro of the week. He did 16 years of service for a sheriff's department in California before he and his canine were in a shootout uh, leading to the death of the suspect. It led him to retire from the department because of serious PTSD from the event. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better dad, a role model, and would love for him to be the drinking bro of the week. We now have a company to train and place to service dogs for the PTSD community mm. and also train working dogs for the uh, LEO slash military. Community. We are a company based in Jacksonville, Florida, called Foundation First Canine and Currency, the biggest supplier, and currently uh, the biggest supplier of canines in the entire Caribbean. I think nice. I may have. I think I may have actually heard of them. I think they. Yes. I think I, they, they were at the show. I think they were hook they? up uh, former service members with ex-military working dogs. See, that's awesome. Like I that. love that. It, it might be that's them. important too. There's a yeah. couple of companies in in Florida that do that actually. Um, I don't know his name, <laughs> but uh, I imagine his last name is Pipkin. Here, here. That's his dad. But cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Uh, Tiffany. Tink. Yeah. Cheers. Always. Cheers. Whenever you come around, dude, we always have the best goddamn time and the best shows. And you guys are the best. You're loved. I can't wait to do the news with you tomorrow. We're going to get fucked up tonight. Yeah. We're going to celebrate the birth of you. You're, you tied Jesus tonight. The day that I came out of my mom's vagina. Yes. You tied Jesus today. Did you, uh, did you text any of your, your, like your mom mm-hmm. and say thanks for letting dad cream pie you or anything? I did. Thanks. I Did said, you say I it said, like that? Tell dad thanks for not coming on your face and inside of you. Yeah. Yeah. And what did she say? And she said, you're welcome. Anytime. I love you. <laughs> 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 My parents are the best. <laughs> Honestly, I could totally see that happening. Is that real? Like, not, not exactly like that, but I, I just like I told you before, my parent, I grew up in a very religious <laughs> household, but the minute that I went into the military, because I'm the oldest, and I came back with all this dumbass debauchery that the military like puts into your head, mm. they got really used to me mm. in certain things, and so now they're totally cool with everything. Fuck. Yeah, my lucky siblings. Look at that. I know. You saved they're them. They're awesome. You saved them. I did. You paved the way. You did. 
You're welcome for my cervix. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany Hart, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going out tonight. We're raging for D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway. I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Drinking Bro. Subscribe on YouTube, everybody. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>